Hill Rogers here at the Nessie Building 11, Building Energy 11 conference and uh, and joined by uh, Dr. Ricky Stern. Good to see you. Hi, nice, nice to, to meet, you. meet you. Nice to meet this you. Is, so. This is one of the cool things about Nessie is the people you, you can meet as you're going about your, your business. Yes, because right. the business is meeting people, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So tell me, what, what, what brings you here? Well, um, I'm here for two reasons. One, I'm here to share about our organization, E Inc., which is a local nonprofit that does environment science and community action with children, teens, and then now we're going to be opening a space and, and teach the general public. Mm -hmm. And then the other piece is we are having a fundraiser, which is um, a film festival. So I'm I'm really talking to people about the event and letting them know how amazing it's going to be and uh, what it's also for, which is to help kids learn. So the the, the fundraiser itself is, tell me, what it, what is the fundraiser called? Oh, so it's called the uh, Wild and Scenic Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And it's a national, so our nonprofit, e Inc., is the Boston Stop. Uh, we have two days in March, 25th, 26th, and we've expanded it this year because we want it to be a festival. So we have an energy panel with Robin Young of BUR, we have a local board tasting Saturday night with amazing restaurants and purveyors. In addition, we're showing that night Carbon Nation, uh, which is being shown here. And it's a really funny, hard-hitting, but solution-minded film, so it's very upbeat, and a producer will talk to you and do Q&A after. And then we have shorts, and we're pricing it really low so students from colleges can come in the afternoon. So real energized, fun, teach, 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 enjoy, learn, have a glass of wine and, <laughs> kind of event. And does, does that... Does that relate to what is? Tell me, what is e Inc.? Oh, well, the reason we love the idea of doing the film festivals, we are an education and, a, and action together, the Education Action Organization. Uh, we're interested in the idea that if you take the average person and who's not a scientist, who's going about their daily lives, and you get, say to them, this is how the planet works. This is the science that's driving it. We can make it understandable to you. And then you say to them, now, here are some things you can do. And then you help them do it. So it's supported action. And then, bang, you find people that take on things that they didn't know they could do. We've targeted most of our work right now with inner city children. We're in after schools, day schools. We're in three towns, or cities rather, Cambridge, uh, Somerville, and then, of course, Boston. And uh, we see about 600 kids just in our after school program. So, day schools, teen teams in Mattapan. We run the film festival. We've opened up a learning room that's now in Fort Point, but we're looking to move it to Charlestown in a couple of months. Pretty exciting. So, it's a really action packed organization. What age levels? We go from kindergarten through teens in terms of our hands on teaching, and then um, as we get a space and we equip it, we'll also do things like uh, evening programs for adults. and. We'll, we'll move into a broader teaching space as mm -hmm. well. So, um, what's the importance of the uh, your 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 background? Is uh, are you an educator? You consider yourself well, an educator actually, first? Well, actually, I um, I was interested in this is kind of a funny little two story, but I was interested in intergroup hatred. And when I was getting my doctorate at Harvard, I was focused on that. And I ended Sharks up... Sharks versus jets kind of stuff? Mm, yes, okay. actually. But uh, it ended up taking me into the world of biological anthropology, and I ended up working with primate people. And in the course of that work, learned that, gee, most of the natural world is really on its way out. And a lot of theme parks that have elephants in them, you know. So um, there's a lot that we have to ask about. It's very serious. It's very important. Global warming is huge. It's real. It's happening. You know, destruction of habitat is intense, and I think because we live in these wonderful little boxes with our own climate control, we just don't get it. But we're a huge player in why things are not going well, and so it seemed to me that I could run a nonprofit that could undo some of that, and that's what we're trying to do. And how do uh, how do your students sort of respond to uh, to you know getting into the 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 environment depths, world, the, yeah. Yeah, the, the depths of, of the, the battles that go on in yeah, nature yeah, yeah. and how those reflect what's going on in our in our uh, our human culture. Great question. So here's what happens. We go in with what's now an award-winning curricula, totally hands-on, 
very active. We're interested in the idea of kids engaging. Our job is to get them to get the concept. So I, we don't want them necessarily to have to go home and think science is uh, you know, all about math and reading and if we don't, no, we're in there and they just do, 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 do. And they walk away being able to tell you how things work, which is amazing to me. So we pre-post test the kids in our science concepts and they get a 40% bump by the end of 10 sessions with us. What did you say the increase was? 40%. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. They really understand it. We're very proud of that. And we, and as I said, it's award winning in terms of how we do it. So what happens is the kids are open to two things, being useful and being inspired. So they love being smart. They love being able to tell someone else what's going on. They love being seen as a smart human. And then they adore the idea that they can do something about it. We help them actually learn how to take a personal pledge, get other, they do it, they run their own pledge campaign. You know, mom, you gotta turn this off. <laughs> you know? So it's like, this is a terrible thing to say on TV, but my kid took my global warming workshop and she became the household electricity Nazi. It was like, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't go anywhere. It's like you walk out of a room and she's Peter pulling, Power, I'm Power. just telling you, it's just bad. <laughs> You're your, your own worst enemy, right? <laughs> yes, I've run into that with my with my daughter. And... So funny, but you know it's also really exciting because you know that they really make a difference. So our kids have gotten their buildings to recycle. Uh, I have a teen team that got their housing site to actually get a recycling system in the housing site. There was nothing there before we got there, or they got there. They're doing an urban farm. They are feeding people. They are engaging the neighbors to work on this farm. It's, it is a matter of pain where people say, oh, no one's going to care. They do care. Kids can be engaged. Adults get engaged because of kids. In the learning room, where we've had families come, we got a, a place that's the uh, Boston the Bay State Parents paper came in and did a review. She wrote three pages on us. They were so excited about what the kids, all hands-on, recycled materials, fun, fun, fun. You know, kids get it, they really can get it. And then they want to do, do something about it. And we help them do something about it. So it's supported action. And they, we had kids in uh, Roxbury run a huge parade in their neighborhood about saving the rainforest. They have pictures and they pointed to everybody. I mean. It's very inspiring, mm. you know, and so if you inspire kids and then they inspire others, what could be better than that, right? Great. Yeah. Uh, where is your uh, where is your space going to be? People, somebody's going to see this with the foundation. They're going to say, "Wow, that's inspiring." Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah do you, what do you need? Where is your? Well, right now we're in Fort Point, which is uh, near Fort Point in Fort Point Channel on Summer yep. Street. Uh, we in the next six months we anticipate being over in Charlestown. Mm -hmm. At um, assuming everything goes well, at a, oh, it's a, a, a waterfront site. So we're going to be near the Harbor Walk. We're going to be reflecting some of the big ocean questions in some of our exhibits. And we'll be teaching, teaching, teaching day and night. We're going to have field trips, families on the weekends, as many humans as we can get in the door so that they get, that they can make a difference, that conservation means something, you know. That's great. Yeah. Well, so nice to, uh, so nice to meet you and, uh, you. and, and hear about this. And uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll hear more. And uh, the Wild and Scenic Film Festival, Film to Change the World, is coming up on March 25 and 6. March, March 25 and 26. Yeah, yeah. Right. Great films, great food. Come. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.